Arcosanti, envisioned as an experimental town, lies in Yavapai County, central Arizona. This unique settlement is situated 70 miles north of Phoenix at an elevation of 3,732 feet. It is not just a town, but also home to a thriving bronze bell casting business. The innovative arcology concept of Arcosanti, blending architecture with ecology, was the brainchild of Italian-American architect Paolo Soleri. In 1956, Paolo, with his wife Kali, acquired land in Paradise Valley, Arizona, where they established the Cosanti Studios. This marked the beginning of their official endeavors in 1959. Paolo initiated construction in 1970, aiming to showcase how urban living could be reimagined to lessen its environmental impact. This unique urban laboratory, blending architecture with ecology, showcases a future where humanity exists in balance with nature. Arcosanti is envisioned as an antidote to urban sprawl and environmental disregard. Throughout his life, Soleri was a mentor to countless architects and urban planners. These professionals studied and collaborated with him at Arcosanti, working together to bring his visionary town to life. Arcosanti's mission centers around investigating arcology, a fusion of architecture and ecology. This endeavor strives to meld the communal vibrancy and convenience of urban living with environmentally sound practices, emphasizing reduced resource consumption and integration with nature. On a 4,000-acre land reserve, the project has been constructing a pioneering town over 25 acres. The Casanti Foundation owns 860 acres of this land, while the rest is leased from the state. Construction at Arcosanti began in 1970 and has progressed intermittently to this day. The latest building was completed in 1989. The community's population fluctuates, typically ranging from 50 to 150 residents, including students and volunteers. Originally, Arcosanti was intended to accommodate 5,000 inhabitants. Today, 13 buildings have been constructed, some extending multiple floors high. A master plan conceived in 2001 proposed an ambitious expansion called Arcosanti 5000, which would significantly surpass the scale of the existing structures. The architectural design of the buildings mostly faces south, optimizing the use of sunlight and heat. This strategic orientation allows the structures to receive maximum sunlight in the colder winter months while minimizing heat exposure during the hot summer months. The facility designated for bronze casting is uniquely constructed in the shape of an apse, resembling a quarter sphere or a semi-dome. Unlike the conventional grid pattern found in many U.S. cities, the arrangement of buildings in this area is complex and follows an organic layout. This design choice aims to ensure easy accessibility to all facilities, fostering enhanced social interaction and community bonds, while still providing residents with their privacy. Arcosanti's existing structures are designed to fulfill the needs of its community. These include a multifunctional five-story building that houses a visitor center, cafe, and gift shop. Art and creativity are at the forefront with a bronze casting apse and a ceramics apse. The area also features two expansive barrel vaults. Living spaces and semi-public areas encircle an outdoor amphitheater, adding to the communal feel. For leisure and relaxation, there's a community swimming pool and an office complex. Above the office area, there's an apartment which was once occupied by Soleri himself. The highest point of the complex is graced by the Sky Suite, a two-bedroom accommodation, 
along with additional guest rooms located beneath the pool area. These rooms, as well as most buildings in Arcosanti, boast accessible rooftops, offering breathtaking views. Primarily, Arcosanti functions as an educational hub, attracting students globally to participate in various workshops, classes, and contribute to its ongoing construction. The site also draws in around 40,000 tourists annually. Visitors have options to explore Arcosanti through guided tours or experience a stay in its guest facilities. The community's funding is partly derived from the on-site production and sale of clay and bronze bells. Additional financial support is garnered through donations and workshop fees. Notably, much of the current construction work at Arcosanti is carried out by workshop attendees and volunteers. Historically, the average income at Arcosanti has been just marginally higher than the minimum wage. Since its inception in 1970, Arcosanti has been a magnet for individuals eager to contribute to its construction through specialized workshops. Initially, these workshops spanned five to six weeks, during which participants not only learned about Paolo Soleri and his arcology design principles through lectures, but also gained practical experience by directly participating in the building process. The program has historically appealed to a diverse group, attracting not only those interested in arts, crafts, architecture, and urban planning, but also individuals passionate about philosophy, sociology, science, and agriculture. In recent years, the structure of these workshops has evolved. Now shorter, typically lasting a week or less, they continue to emphasize learning, particularly through hands-on experiences. Participants can engage in a variety of activities, including glass blowing, silt casting, photography, and other interactive crafts. By 2023, the impact of these workshops was significant, with over 8,000 individuals having contributed to Arcosanti's construction through their participation in these enriching five-week programs. However, Arcosanti is not without its challenges. The vision is still far from complete, and questions linger about the practicality of Soleri's ideas in the modern world. Despite these challenges, the spirit of Arcosanti continues to inspire. It stands as a beacon of hope, a reminder that with creativity and community, a more sustainable and connected world is within reach. Today, Arcosanti is more than just an architectural experiment. It's a living, breathing example of what happens when vision, ecology, and community come together. It challenges conventional urban planning and invites us to rethink our relationship with our environment and each other. Arcosanti isn't just a place. It's a journey towards a sustainable future, one innovative step at a time. And what is your opinion about this unique project? Please leave it in the comments.